I'm getting super shy talking about this right now. We, I, I don't want to get emotional about this, but we hit a million subscribers on my YouTube and on my Instagram and I could not be more grateful than I am right now. You guys have no idea how much it means to me and I told myself I wasn't going to get emotional because we might see some tears and I'm not normally a crier but you guys really have no idea how much this really means to me. You guys, long story short, you guys just by watching me have helped me fulfill a promise that I made to my Nanima shortly before she passed away and I feel I just feel so good inside because I feel like I was able to give that to her and even though she's not here to see it, I know she sees it and she's really, really happy right now and I don't want to cry but just thank you so much for always being there and always supporting me and being a part of my family. So in today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be giving you dupes for every single Kylie lip kit with the exception of the three new shades that she came out with. I believe they're called Malibu, Ginger, and Kristen. I just recently picked those up. So if you want to see swatches of those, follow my Instagram. I do a lot of swatch videos there and I'll probably swatch those on there instead of making a separate video on YouTube. My Instagram is right here so come say hi i love the gram i love the gram i'm addicted to it i know i don't know how to dance i didn't even dance on my wedding day like who dances like this so um yeah those are the only ones that i don't have besides that i have every single metal and every single lip kit that she did release these were not sent to me i did purchase them with my very own money I was a little shattered on the inside by how much they cost me. I believe all the lip kits plus the glosses and the metals did run me about 700-ish US dollars. Convert that to Canada, ship it to Canada. We're talking a little under a thousand dollars for all the lip kits. So they are very pricey, but if you guys want my full review, my thoughts, if they're worth it, stay tuned until the end of the video for that. I really just want to get into swatches for those of you who are just interested in swatches and dupes. So before we get into the video, if you haven't subscribed, subscribed, <laughs> this is why I don't speak on camera because I cannot speak English. If you have not subscribed already, please don't forget to subscribe if you want to see some more of me. And I have nothing else to say, so let's get straight into the video.
thoughts on the Kylie lip kit and the glosses. Honestly speaking, because I did pay for these with my very own money, I can tell you, I will always continue to purchase her liquid lipsticks and her glosses because I find for me personally, with my skin tone, they work beautifully. Like they, every single color that she releases, because I'm desi, I'm brown, I'm Indian skin, I feel like I have the hardest, look at me with my nails, I feel like I have the hardest time finding the colors that work really well with my skin tone, especially because this area around my mouth is darker, sometimes it can look more ashy, and then I just have different skin tones all over my face. I'm not yellow, I'm not orange, I'm not red, I don't have a pink undertone. I'm very olive, and I feel like her lip kits were made for olive skin, period. I feel like when you're a fair skin tone, you can get away with wearing the dupes, you can get away with wearing pretty much any color because the color shows up very true to color and with me having pigmented lips and with me having a deeper skin tone, I feel like not all of the colors from every single line work for my skin tone. So if you are my skin tone, I know it is kind of pricey, like for one liquid lipstick and one lip liner, it's 29 US dollars, especially if you're in Canada. But I mean, if you divide that by two, it's roughly about 14 bucks a pop for the liquid lipstick and the liner. They are very pigmented, they are very long lasting, they will wear on your lips beautifully. I feel like the original three colors that she came out with Candy K, Dolce K, and True Bound K. True Bound. <laughs> Those three colors have a different formula than all of the other lip kits that she has released. And I personally prefer the formula of her newer lip kits. It is a very lightweight, liquidy formula, but I feel like they're non drying. My lips don't get, like, you know, that white line that you get right here? I don't get that. My lips, I have naturally very wrinkly lips, but they don't look extremely like like I need a glass of water or like I need lip balm because this is how I feel I look whenever I wear other liquid lipsticks. Overall, I love her liquid lipsticks and I will continue to buy them just because I love how they work with my skin tone. The struggle is real with my skin tone and Kylie just made that struggle a little easier. So thank you Kylie for catering to, well I don't know if she did this purposely, but thank you for catering to my skin tone. I feel like they look beautiful on every single skin tone, but for me personally, I have a hard time finding perfect colors and I feel like every single color in her lip kit has worked really well for me. As far as her glosses go, now for the glosses, I really love them too. I hate that I love them because again, they are very pricey, but it's a very comfortable gloss. It's not sticky, it doesn't feel gloopy and gross on the lips. It's very comfortable, it's very smooth, it's very moisturizing. I wore the gloss out yesterday and it just felt very comfortable on the lips. It made them look plump, they look nice and smooth, they look moisturized. And for me, having pigmented lips, my lips were much more pigmented before, but now I feel like they're more pigmented on the outer corners of my mouth. And the gloss pigment, covers that perfectly. I don't need to wear a liner, I don't need to do any of that. So pigmented lips and all the skin tones, you can totally benefit from grabbing the Kylie lip kits. I totally give them a thumbs up, but here is where I give my thumbs down. The metals need a lot of work. The reason why I say that is because there are inexpensive liquid lipsticks that are metals that you can get that perform better than the Kylie lip kits. I understand what she was trying to do with the metal liquid lipsticks, but unfortunately, it just did not work out. Like my Kai Majesty is very chunky and gritty. Um, I know a lot of people were saying that their tubes were empty, but I think the reason why it looks empty, I mean, I'm sure you got the same amount of weight of formula per tube, but the reason why it looks empty is because the formula is very thick and sand-like. You know when you get sand a little wet, and it just like when it runs through your hands when it's wet, that's what the formula feels like on the lips. It's very gritty and it's not very comfortable. And I feel like Kai Majesty was just a total miss, but the other metals, while the colors are pretty, again, they feel very gritty and I feel like they can only work for people who have extremely smooth lips. I, like I said before, I have wrinkly lips, so when I put the metal all over my lip and I've been trying to wear it just in the center of my lip, it just does not look very flattering on me. I feel like the, the metal 
like the glittery pigments or what are those called the little glitters in the metal they just sit in my lines and I look like I've been drooling or something like it just does not look cute on me so unfortunately the metals do need a lot of work so if you are if you were thinking about picking up the metals word of advice if your lips are extremely smooth and you have no wrinkle on your lips you're gonna love the metals they're gonna look beautiful on you but if you have wrinkly lips like most of the population does I would skip on the metals and to be honest just pick up an eyeshadow and pop it in the center of your lips or just use your highlighter in the center of the lip and it's going to give you the exact same type of look and it's like dual purpose you get to use an eyeshadow on your eyes and you can use it on your lips so it's much more economical that way when it comes to dupes you got to look at it like maybe the color might be similar but what are you paying for you're paying for the formula i wish i didn't have to pay for kylie's name because i'm pretty sure that's what kind of jacked up the price too but it's the formula. I'm really a big fan of the formula and I know a lot of people compare the formula to ColourPop and while the consistency is very similar, like it's a very liquidy liquid lip. Is there another word for that? It's, it's very watery. It's a very watery liquid lipstick, Kylie and ColourPop, but the wearability and the formula is completely different. Like I can wear the Kylie lip kit all day long and I'll be comfortable with it and it'll be just fine but I cannot wear a ColourPop liquid lipstick all day long without again looking like this. So that's about it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed my doopies. Leave me some comments down below on videos that you would like to see on my channel next. I love you guys to the moon and back. You have no idea. I apologize that I have not been uploading as regularly as I used to. I really want to get back into that. So I think that's about it. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next one.